Hello guys, we are here back at the revisit of the abandoned Kmart and Stop and Shop here in Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, we're about to check this whole place out. And I also noticed uh, that this McDonald's looks like it's closed. It says temporarily closed online. It looks like they're going to do a renovation because look at this. It still has the old style McDonald's on the exterior, which I really do want to film. It looks like the place is fenced out. Um, I'm going to have to go like park next to this uh, Davida Center and find a way to get in if possible. If not, then whatever. <laughs> so yeah, let's check this uh, Kmart out first. Um, I don't know how long it's abandoned, I forgot, but I think it's been abandoned since like 2015. And as you can see, it's still boarded up. They haven't done anything with this place. And this was actually um, like a sports center here before temporarily and i think during the pandemic they closed down just like all the other gyms that is. they also have these uh lock systems over here kid kid and then a master lock combo yeah I'm not gonna be able to get a good look inside. That freaking sucks. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I really hate vandalizers. They have to like ruin it for everybody else, I swear. Wall hydrant. Let's uh, go around the building, guys. It's a nice day too. It's like in the high 60s. And this was like a unique looking Kmart too, because we're gonna come across this right here. I think this like place, maybe it could have been something else before before Kmart. Maybe a different retail store. Maybe we have some garbage here. Uh, I don't know if homeless people are here, but it looks like there's a religious book here. It's like uh, written in Arabic. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they really need to do something with this uh, area right here because it looks pretty sad. Man, I miss Kmart. And I don't think it will come back to life anytime soon or later, fortunately. Here's one of their signages that they had here for the stop and shop, which we're gonna also film in a bit. This is where they had their signage for the Kmart logo, I believe. I think this place was called the arena. Yeah. And like I said, they closed during the pandemic, I think in like 2020, sometime in 2020. This is the parking space for the stop and shop and also other little businesses that were right next to it. I really hope nobody's over here. <laughs> That's the one thing uh, I get creeped out about. <laughs> so yeah, this is also boarded up, a red X sign. Man, I wonder what the inside looks like. Cannot see anything through there. They boarded the, the whole place up. There, that really sucks. I really want to see what the inside is like. Not even like a peek through either. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. So this was a bank that was here before. It's also boarded. <sighs> yeah, it's completely dark in there. I cannot see a thing. I guess this, uh, you would put your card through here and then, you know, get cash out of the ATM if they had it. Synerg synergistics. Yeah, I'm not sure what bank this was. It doesn't really say. Nice, uh, lovely flower tree here we have. Yeah, all the windows are boarded. 
<laughs> so there's definitely some vandalism done here. Here they have their depository. Employee deposit envelope employee. <laughs> envelope deposits, bag deposits. So I'm not sure what bank this was. Alright, so here we have a business. Uh I'm not sure what business this was. Because there's no uh signage here. There's a dollar den here. I remember I think this was this place was open too. Like a couple of years ago. I'm guessing this was uh like a cleaners? A laundromat? I don't know. Yeah, looks like everything was stripped out of this place, even the walls. Only see, the only things you see is like the doors and uh, there's a ladder in there. And here we have the exit doors back there. Fire extinguisher, of course. All right, so this was the dollar den. I guess this is a dollar store. You know, there's stickers here, 2018-2019 business license permit. Wow, this place looks like it's been here for uh, quite some time, probably since the 90s maybe. You can just like kind of tell by looking at the walls. Huh dirty in there too i guess this place uh has been abandoned for a couple years i don't really remember the last time i filmed this place it could have been like sometime in 2021 when i went for the revisit so this is my second revisit there's, there's a light on too inside huh <laughs> It looks like they're doing some work in here. We have some buckets here of uh, all-purpose. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, paint. It's like so. All-purpose paint buckets here. And some wood. Mm. Fire extinguisher, of course. All right. And here we come to the last place here, which is the stop and shop. I believe this was a Grand Union. A long time ago as you can kind of tell wow the place is like rusting out too you can see the exterior and you can see the stop and shop uh, sign right here there's the parking space it's a nice beautiful day thank god it's cloudy and blue skies that's what i love <laughs> And it's in the 60s, so yeah, like I said, guys, the weather is getting warmer, so that's good. Alright, let's take a look inside, see if anything changed. It is dirty in there. I see some mold popping up on the ground in the floor there. Yeah, I think it's been about two, three years since I came to this place, so... Looks like they haven't really went inside the building ever since they uh, closed after a couple of weeks or something. I don't know. Construction permit notice. Nothing on there. So let's see. <sighs> wow, it's empty as hell in there. Wow. There's nothing inside this place. Nobody in there, too. Doesn't look like it. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing in there. Completely gutted out. I see a lonely chair over there. Some lights that are on. Pretty sad, guys. Mm, look at the mold appearing over here. The green mold. 
or moss, I don't know, that's mold or moss. Here's the other entrance doors. Yeah, there's literally like nothing in there. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the back, guys. Yeah, and if you guys don't know what Grand Union Grand Union was, there were also another uh, supermarket store that... Uh, They've closed down a lot of them, I think, like, in the early 2000s or mid-2000s. And some of them turned into other supermarket stores. But there is some new ones that opened up in, like, New York. I think in upstate New York. I don't know any new ones that opened in New Jersey, so... Alright, so here we come to the back of the shipping receiving area here they had some uh double doors here you no know, door handle compactor area i guess i don't know what that was over there hopefully nobody's back here that's the only thing what i like really fear about when i come to like filming an abandoned place you always gotta watch out and know your surroundings some of you guys might think this is easy but you know i take a risk you know and i feel like i'm brave for doing this in a way so you never know especially nowadays when you come to an abandoned place what who is there and you know if they're suspicious or if there are animals or anything around the place uh, look how rusty that is. The ceiling. <laughs> you just tell like this place has probably been here. Like the Grand Union that was here before. Cut, probably was here since like the 70s or 80s. I'm guessing 80s or 70s. Yeah, that's what I would say. Oh, so this was a compactor area here. And uh, this is the shipping receiving area right here. Where the trucks are back up, I guess. The double doors. All right, so we're heading towards the Kmart now. And this is uh, the back of the other businesses. <laughs> Look at those like two doors up there. There must have been some stairway or something here a long time ago And they probably took it down Interesting All right So this is uh, The back of the abandoned Kmart and this is the back of that abandoned bank I don't know what that bank was if you guys have uh if you guys know what this closed business was right here, right next to the Dollar Den and this abandoned bank, what the name of it was, please comment below. I'm uh, interested to know what these two businesses were here before. Because I forgot, or I don't know. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we're in the middle of April, getting uh, close to May, and warmer weather is coming like i said so right now we're in the 60s hopefully it will stay that way <laughs> there are double doors here with the red x sign and they painted over this i guess there was graffiti back there and this is the shipping receiving area of the kmart they have two trucks here backing up and then they had another gate here for the pallets to come through.
and it's sad to see an abandoned camera like this there's so many of these like in the united states see that guys it says kmart what number is it? it says 3523 and they had the hours there before paramus kmart open eight to five i think monday through friday and then they had the hours also there too i guess those are receiving hours i don't know but maybe the store hours it had to be the store hours yeah eight to five well, i don't know <laughs> who knows <sighs> okay the big satellite dish <laughs> and they had a uh, compactor here before as well looks like more graffiti they they're on the back of this building Alright, so this is more of the parking space that they had back here. I parked my car like right down over there too, right over there. <laughs> yeah, so you can see um, they did more graffiti here it looks like and they painted over it. I'm assuming. <coughs> hmm. I really want to film that temporarily closed McDonald's right there. It looks like, to my thinking, they're gonna renovate that McDonald's. And I, I just found it stupid because you don't have a lot of these old style looking McDonald's locations anymore. And if they're gonna renew it and make it into that gray, bland, boring looking McDonald's, it's gonna be so stupid in my opinion. But whatever, can't really control that. We can like sign petitions or whatever to change it, but I'll never make much of a difference, I think. All right, so I guess this is the best look we're gonna be able to get inside the Kmart right here. There's an opening. There is a sign there. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see anything through there, but I can't really because I put my phone up against this window, but it looks really dark. Yeah, I can't see much. I think this is the garden center. Alright guys, that does it here for this uh, abandoned Kmart and Stop and Shop here in Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, I'm going to check out this uh, McDonald's that's temporarily closed hopefully I'll be able to find my way to film it if not then whatever <laughs> I'm not too worried <laughs> so alright guys I will see you on the next video peace out bye bye